is Alicia Abendross. Um, I'm from Wolcott, New York, but originally actually from Germany. Um, my parents are, one is German, one is American. Ever since I was a little girl, my family started making that switch into farming. And we knew from an early start that we wanted to be fruit farmers. And so my whole life has been actually revolving around producing fruit and learning how to do it better. Uh, when I was in high school, I made the decision to start studying horticulture. Uh, so we, I was sent to uh, university, or I chose to go to university in Germany for fruit production. And that actually really was a good fit for me. I really felt like I was doing something that was meaningful to me. I pursued that. I started getting into soil science, things that I never thought I was actually gonna get into. Um, I love botany, looking at plant cells, um, all of that. Then I was given the opportunity when my family moved from Germany to the US to um, transfer to Cornell University, which is actually fortunately only an hour and a half from our farm. Since then, I've actually moved more toward business and incorporated both like the social aspects of farming into my kind of botany, geeky side of what I, what I do. That's one thing I, I do feel is an amazing part of fruit production is it occurs all around the world. Um, and everyone does it a little different. The principles are the same. You know, you have a plant, it grows, it stays in the ground for many years. The botany behind a tree doesn't change, but the surrounding political climate, environmental climate, those things all are changing depending on where you are. So one thing, because again, with my German background and just my international kind of upbringing, I found a lot of pleasure in being able to learn abroad and bring things back to New York. So I've been starting to go down to the Southern Hemisphere. Um, started in Chile, South Africa twice now. What I found is you can learn a lot from other people and just not even looking to your neighbors, but just looking outside of that mindset. Our other places don't have all the privileges that we have here to be farmers. We are extremely fortunate in America to have subsidy programs, um, good insurance programs for crop losses, um, access to water, access to good transport systems. So, you know, we have a lot of things that we can use here to our advantage. And going to other countries and seeing that they're producing where there's more water scarcity or there's unstable political settings, those really make growing here, it puts it in perspective. The other thing, though, is that because of those harsh conditions, people try that much harder. It's hard to always just go abroad and be like, I'm gonna change my whole farm, because we all know fruit farms don't work that way. It's a long process. But I think that you can bring along the energy and the spirit of a different place and kind of push that and funnel that into your little nest egg. I think that we grow up in a generation where things are fast paced, quick, and the farm can kind of seem to a lot of people like a snooze. I mean, it's like, oh, everything's slow. And, and I have to say, when I graduated, where everyone was go, 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 it was definitely a little bit of an adjustment to come back and, and kind of be like, okay, things take time. You have to you know, work on things in a longer term thinking process. And you're thinking three, four years in advance. And there's business consequences and monetary consequences. And I think if you like problem solving, farming is the right thing for you because there is always the next crisis around the door. While it seems like the farm is like this long term kind of like big commitment thing, there's so much in the day to day that needs you to be thinking quick on your feet. Yes, the old ways are important and you need to learn from them, but it's where you where you gain is if you can bring in what's new and what's the new energy in.